Electronic monuments acknowledge accidents as sacrifices. They work toward a similar goal as a national war monument in that they bring a community together to mourn and acknowledge the public values for which individual lives have been sacrificed. Electronic monuments force a community to ask itself, is the value worth the sacrifice necessary for sustaining it? Death Drivers, Ghost Bike Monumentality works to engage publics in discourses about the sacrifices made by cyclists, pedestrians, and car accident victims on behalf of petrocentric road design. When users engage with this AR experience, they must physically inhabit spaces they may otherwise avoid as pedestrians, calling attention to the importance of location and mobility to the acknowledgement of petrocultural values. And uh, it's useful to think about it in terms of ritual. So, uh, so we say, well, what is a memorial doing? It's testifying, it's witnessing an event, an incident uh, that you're promoting as a sacrifice from individual to collective uh, value. And, uh, and we can learn a lot about uh, these kinds of identity experiences of forming collective um, realities through the history of ritual. So we think about a ritual belief, you know, ritual practices um, that, that, that when people are, both the way they're designed, the way memorial is designed and the way people interact with them, is that they interact with them uh, not uh, simply for entertainment purposes, but for ritual purposes. That is, uh, they're participating in something when they, uh, when they, let's say, when they use augmented reality and they, and they, and they follow a, a route, we'll say, they follow the route, let's say a bicycle route through Jacksonville, uh, they're doing it in a ritual way and they are celebrating, they're honoring, uh, and, and, it, and it can be repeated uh, however many you know times on whatever occasions and it's through those kind of practices where it can be that people don't even fully understand that it's not a matter of a bunch of information but that it's in that witnessing of something that's important that uh, that creates a sense of community uh, and that can be uh, uh, you know replicated and reproduced in other uh, situations other sites around the world I often think about how what what the labyrinths labyrinths in uh, in churches in the Middle Ages? I mean, people who couldn't go to the Holy Land just walked the labyrinth path in a in a, in a church, and they had this experience, and they thought about uh, certain beliefs and so on, and, and and in doing so, they testified to and re and reaffirmed their that particular metaphysics. I think that's what we want to have happen with the memorial as well.